And now for something completely different. Hello and welcome to the first proper video on and now for something completely different. Today we're doing a short video because I want to do a whole video series on this. So if I start short, I can then make it longer and longer. And it's all about, is Arnold Rimmer the best character? Yes, Arnold, Arnold, Arnold Rimmer. Without him, life would be much grimmer. Yes, it's the titular holographic character played by Chris Barry in the television programme created by the BBC and Dave UK TV called Red Dwarf. Now, before we all begin, I want to explain. UK TV is owned by BBC Studios. So the BBC, no longer airing Red Dwarf and Dave airing Red Dwarf, there is no difference. So if you look at the BBC iPlayer now, you can watch Judge Romish, uh, Zapped, and Sliced, and Big Zoo's Big Eats. So, Judge Romish, Sliced, Zapped, and Big Zoo's Big Eats. They're four Dave Originals, right? And now you can watch him on the BBC iPlayer. You can also do that with, a, oh, it's a, a Traced, I think it's called, and Smothered. Six. Right, that's already six uh, Dave um, UK TV originals that are now on uh, the BBC iPlayer. So, technically, the BBC still own Red Dwarf, but it's just under it's just part of their commercial brand rather than their ad-free brand, which is the TV license brand, and they've got their excess, which are free-to-air channels such as W Drama, Alibi. Got, well, Gold's not free to wear, but Dave, um, yesterday and all them. So, Red Dwarf uh, is a fantastic comedy, sci-fi comedy. I think it was, I think it was inspired by Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, but don't quote me on that, because I'm not 100% sure. So, Arnold Rimmer. Arnold Rimmer, played by Chris Barry, who would like to go and play Gordon Britus in the Britas Empire which is another sitcom that I've got a podcast about, but I'll also talk about on this channel. That's another day for another video. So, Arnold Rimmer is a really good, he's the best character because he's a hologram. He's Chris Barry. Yeah, there's no more than two. There's only two reasons why Arnold Rimmer is the best character. But in a more in-depth look at it, like I am doing on this channel, we're looking at the inner reason why Arnold Rimmer is a good character. The best bit Arnold Rimmer has ever done, in my opinion, is Arnold, Arnold, Arnold Rimmer without him life would be much glimmer. I was going to add that in as a clip, but I thought I might get copyright, so I'm going to have to uh, sing it. I, I don't want to, but I have to. It was, it was, it was to avoid copyright, really, because that's what I don't want to do on this channel. Get copyright. I was doing a thumbnail shot because I haven't verified the thumbnails yet on this channel. Anyway, so. Arnold Rimmer was the straight lace, was the uh, one that wanted to follow the rules. I didn't like how none of the fat, fat his family knew that he was dead. And I don't really like how they don't actually utilise he's dead. Because they bring him back in the hologram. And, and it's the same person as it was before, with all the same memories, all the same life. N like, nothing has changed. Then he, then in series eight happens, and he doesn't become a hologram. And then series nine happens, and he's a hologram again. I don't like series eight to nine. I don't like series eight or series nine of Red Dwarf for one reason, one reason only. Series nine erased everything that's happened in series eight, and series eight erased everything that's happened previously because everyone's alive again, and then they all just disappear again without any explanation. The first few Holly, se the first few Dave series had no Holly, where they were, and they never explained why Holly turned from the from Norm, not Norman Lovett to whatever she was called. She was in an episode. I, the whole Holly thing makes no sense of changing it because they never explain it. So in eight to nine, they never explain. But throughout all of this, Arnold Rimmer is in it, and then he's not in it because he's not in British Empire, so he can't be in Red Dwarf at that moment in time because he's out filming. And then, and then they kill off Kachansky again, but it's this time it's another actor that was in the first series. And then Rimmer comes back as not a hologram, and then is a hologram again, but now is a hologram. So the whole Arnold Rimmer 
timeline makes no sense. Obviously, we have the kind of rumour that goes, uh, smoke a kipper, I'll be back for breakfast. If that's good, don't quote me on that, literally. I'm not interested. So, we have that element of that's where we're going to separate the Rimmer off. But then they never explain why Rimmer came back or how Rimmer came back or the, the, the hologram system. I don't... It makes no sense, right? In, in a whole thing. It's a sci-fi comedy that shouldn't really make sense. But as fans, we analyse, we deep dive, we, we look into things. So, there are no Rimmer timeline. Makes no sense. Series 8 to 9 makes no sense, and the whole Holly Chain thing makes no sense. But that is on its own, right? But there are no Rimmer when he was in Red Dwarf Series 1 to 7, and then Red Dwarf 10 to present is amazing, right? Because Chris Barry's facial expression are on, on par, are amazing, right? It's, his, it's, a, it's hard to explain. He's the best character, uh, Crichton's the second best character, but Arnold Rimmer is the best character. And the reason why Arnold Rimmer is the best character, and, and I've probably been avoiding this question the whole video, I don't know why, but I do need to fix that along with the background, is that Arnold Rimmer is the driving force of the show in my opinion. Even though Dave List is the main character and all, everything revolves around him, I think Arnold Rimmer is the main character that no one knows is the main character. He's serious when he needs to be. He's got more powers than anyone else on the ship. So Cat doesn't have many powers. Rimmer is a Arnold, um, not um, uh, Lister. That's it, that's the name I forgot. Dave Lister is a human, so has many limitations. Crichton is a is a cleaning robot that's now trying to become his his own thing. And then we've got Rimmer that's now got the ho got to a level of hologramity, not a word, probably not, where he's now more like a human, but with extra powers. And I like how he like certs, centers stories around to make him a superhero, make him give his superhero powers back, and him being a driving force of knowledge and and all his powers and and how he's utilized a lot. And, and how they like save you they use him in a lot of storylines like to save the day they have to turn him back into a little pod thing and they save the day with him and the hologram technology and it just shows that he is a driving force on the show if if you're using him in a lot of the stories to elevate the story or to make it like a serious part of the story or or to utilize it in a way that you haven't utilized it before if you catch my drift at all. So, there you have it. I think Arnold Rimmer is the best character because he's the driving force of the show. Without him, life would be much grimmer. And without Arnold Rimmer in Red Dwarf, Red Dwarf wouldn't be what it is. Well done, Chris Barry. And I'll, next time, I'll talk about why, he, what's the difference between Arnold Rimmer and Gordon Brutus. Is there any difference between them? And then we'll move on to talking about Monty Python's Five Circles in the third video. That guy's watching, and remember, and now for something completely different. What's that? Go and watch one of my only YouTube channels called Tom Mason, the Ginger Productions Company, on 16 YouTube channels. This is channel number 16. Press this channels button and you'll see all my channels. And then you can watch something completely different. From Doctor Who, to TV, to panel shows, to whatever nonsense you're into, I probably made a YouTube channel about it, or a podcast. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, and now for something completely different. Bye! Ow, just banged me foot. Why do I keep on doing that when I film videos? <sighs> <sighs>